Hey guys, welcome back to another Christmas special here on Game On. Today we're going to be playing Elf the Movie on Game Boy Advance. All right, so you've seen this movie. Yep. You've seen this movie. Yeah. I haven't seen this movie. How did you so miss it? you're gonna have to tell me how faithful this is. Wow, look at that white text. You gotta wow. tell me right. how Can you we play it in it? Deutsch? Or yeah, let's Espanol? Play it. Yeah. Or yes. I don't I'm, know Italiano, but I'm gonna could. say yes, but then start the game. <laughs> yes. Alright, next time oh. we're gonna play in another language. Uh, this is like an actual... Well, so far it's accurate to the, the storyline. Yeah, this is yeah. like actual movie stuff. Oh wait. Collect as many candies as you can. Use the gumdrops to jump higher. Watch out for icicles and falling bridges. Look out for the polar bears. <laughs> Alright, Aaron. Take us away. I um, don't remember any polar bears in this game. Uh, wow, I so... I hate this movie so much. <laughs> that actually just... looks like a person. I know. <laughs> it was like... kind of creepy. Alright. Watch out for the polar bear! Oh I was my trying to God. jump over him! Oh, it's sitting here like yeah, all the way there. huge! I know, but like... How, how are you supposed, supposed to... to jump over a polar bear? You got it! <gasps> oh! Oh! Ah! Oh my he God! his butt! <laughs> his butt got you. Okay, wait, so something I touched there was apparently the like halfway point. I really do hate this movie. <laughs> Alright, so these are not my kind So of I haven't seen this movie. You say you hate it. You say you I hate, hate it. it. What's so terrible? What's going on? It's just annoying. Yeah. It's just like it was feral. And I like him. I mean he came and he canvassed for Stacey Abrams. Ah oh, I walked into that floor. Here, spot. let me try. It is Here, your turn. You try, you try. Okay. Uh I like him. I mean I think he's a nice guy. You know, whatever. He's funny, it's just not my comedy. It's uh He's like so ah! awkward. He's like dressed like an elf the whole time running around in these like tights. Right? I don't understand. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, this sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Look Go at on. that. Look at those calves. <laughs> you really want to watch those right. calves for two so, hours? So you don't like it because Will Ferrell, um, comedy, calves, awkwardness. You don't like it. It was just everywhere. The, when it came out, it was everywhere. Yeah. Central and High everyone School would used talk it about in it. curriculum. I had so they many used it in classes. their curriculum. Yeah, I, I mean, because it was Central High School, so it was creative writing class, and so we Ugh. would we would learn creative writing by watching movies. It was not that good. And it was, it was just fine. Terrible. Here, let me try. It was just always, always. But it was watching. it was everywhere, and the particular like cultural demographic we were raised in was like completely obsessed with it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right, are you gonna you didn't make no. it. <laughs> it's not just me, <laughs> cat that suck. Not just us. Why does it have to be a yellow arrow? <laughs> <laughs> they probably thought just that was so really funny. Can make yeah. Get it. yeah, probably. That had to be intentional. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Bear. Turn around. So what can you do? So like he's like an a he's an orphan baby that Santa picks up somehow. You can only jump. And so he thinks, and he's raised with the elves, and when he was a kid it was fine because he was the same size as them, but then he's like a six foot tall adult, and he still thinks he's an elf, and it's like... Yeah. But then he like moves to New York? Then he goes to New York He goes to City. find his real family or something, I don't know. His human family. Yeah. And he ends up in New York. But he's like so immature, but then we're all supposed to learn that like maybe being a little immature is important. Is that the lesson? I think it is, right? Like everybody's yeah. too serious? Yeah, we need to have like the joy. Of, oh, yeah, exactly. I was too serious too. I honestly haven't seen it as an adult. I saw it as a teenager and and just hated it. So. I saw it like two years ago for the first time. I didn't see it back then, but I had no desire to see it because it was everywhere, as you said. Oh, oh it watch out for falling you. bridges. That was in the instructions. Here, Aaron. <laughs> Follow the instructions, Leif. I'm sorry. <laughs> So what about, what was the part with the polar bears? I, there were no polar bears! <laughs> there were no hazards of any kind in this, other than maybe mean people. <laughs> jerks. Yeah, the jerks. Oh, you beat it. Good job. Great, let's continue our journey to New York. Yeah, level, level code, code. YKBNC. Mm -hmm. right. The 
cave is full of falling icicles. Watch out for them. Jump over the chasms to complete the level. Oh, those famous New York caves. Yeah, I don't understand this. How does he get to New York? I don't remember. Apparently through an elaborate underground cave system. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why did you faceplant, though? The, st the stalactite. There was one above, and I didn't see it. Oh. You have to watch out. See? Oh, I see, I see it now. It blends in with the other ones oh, that are in the background. Oh, you have to be watching ahead. Well, now they're predictable. I like that you're getting ice cream. <laughs> in, in gumdrops. In an icy place. In lollipops. <laughs> Alright, uh, favorite Christmas candy? Mm. You go first, and then you? Peppermint bark. <gasps> Peppermint Ooh, that was a what? Falling bridge. Wait, it's a falling bridge. Hold on. I can't talk on the falling bridges. <laughs> I forgot Here, about the icicles. You said peppermint what? Uh, bark. peppermint bark. Bark? Yeah, in life. I have some really delicious peppermint bark at home. I have some peppermint bark in the other room, but I'll it's for to... sale, so we had to pay for it, baby. What's, what's peppermint <laughs> bark? <laughs> Where'd you buy it at? Oh, it's just ones I put in the um, gift baskets that I make. I'm not going to disclose where. Where okay, where it was purchased. <laughs> right. I will leave it at that. I'm just saying, Trader Joe's has some really delicious peppermint bark. Yeah, no, it's it's good quality. It's really good quality. I believe that. So, um, my favorite candy is... Christmas candy. Christmas, Christmas candy, I was going to say, was for sure chocolate-covered cherries. Ooh. Because... Maybe she didn't make them, but in my head, whenever mm -hmm. Grandma would Grandma send made us, them in our head, yeah, uh, that big box of chocolates or chocolate can uh, Christmas candy. They're my favorite. That was in there with the mm. chocolate covered cherries. She didn't make them because they had alcohol in them, so she didn't make them. Well, Dad said that I didn't know this when I was a kid. I thought she made everything, and it was all great. Was that she made most of the stuff, but that those ones in particular, he didn't tell me why. Um, she didn't make. She would buy them and put them in. Right. So, yeah. It's, but still, it's a good memory. Of it is a good memory. Sending yeah. Christmas candies. Yeah. There are a lot of Christmas candies, but those are the best. Those are good. Those are really good. Actually, Andrews would really like those. You guys mm -hmm. ever have those advent calendars with the chocolates? Yeah, Ad Andrews has one right now, but it's a Marvel one. It's like Marvel Avengers or whatever. And it says nowhere on it anything to do with Christmas or anything. It yeah. just says festive calendar. Oh. <laughs> so it's like for all kids. You don't have to believe in baby Jesus. So it's not really an advent calendar. It's just called festive calendar. That's what it says. But it is an advent calendar, yes. It's amazing. Oh, I thought you can land on that thing in the background. This is like really a lot to take in. The background honestly yes. looks like land. It's, yeah, this is too much. I don't like this. Yeah, it's too confusing. Like, in the last level, the the icicles blended in with, like, the background icicles. Yeah. And now these backgrounds blend in with, like, what you should be walking on. I was supposed to spell New York, but I'm, like, missing whole patches of the words. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't know where they would have been. Just I guess we were supposed higher. to be going higher. Or maybe like, there's a, one there. New work. It says work. N work. I wonder what you get if you got all the letters. Use the gun drops. I also really love that Grandma would always send us fruitcake. Oh, I need and to do it again. And people don't like fruitcake, but I love fruitcake. Just have to say. I don't remember eating it. I remember talking about it, but I don't remember like what it tasted like. I just really? need some. You have to do it again because you didn't get enough, so that's why yeah. you have to use the gumdrops. It says you have to do it again. So, help me find... If you get to W, you've gone too far. Yeah, exactly. So... Right, now we're all, like, really focused. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't... I, I honestly didn't see any other letters. Oh, wait, there's, there's an, an e. e. There's an E. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright, we're, like, hyper-focused on it now. I know. <laughs> Alright, nothing else in the world matters. For the there's next the seven w. minutes. There's the... Yes... Okay, why? Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Oh, yeah, we didn't get the why last time. There, it's up there. there. It's up there. There we go. All right. <laughs> I, I think hate this I think movie we're, so much. I think we're good from here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, we're just right here. Uh, Luckily, I don't think there's any lives. No, there are. 
if your life bar goes all the way down, because it that happened earlier, and I had I had to wait for the title screen. Oh. It went back to the beginning. Well, this sucks then, because like I'm jumping, but I can't see the ground. But you have you have plenty of life. I don't know. I guess you can replenish it. Or so that rainbow goes all the way down. Did we get the key? Yeah, we got the key last time. Yeah. So it's not hard. Now we got all the tricky ones. So I don't remember this in his journey in the movie. Did he actually go on a journey? You guys are the experts. He I probably so. just magically appeared, and this is why the game exists. All to right, tell you, us uh, the story of the in-betweens. Want to take on the next one? Is that Santa? Maybe. <laughs> Press A or something. Jump from one iceberg to another. Watch out for sinking icebergs. Floating icebergs help you to reach your destination. Uh, floating versus sinking. Got it. I think this whole game is just one massive journey from the North Pole to New York by foot. That's boring. Well, how am I supposed That's to not know? even in the movie. All right, go for it. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> This is a sinking one. Oh, yeah. I see your life now. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy all of it. <laughs> ah! I didn't even get <laughs> You're to You're not even jump. jumping that time. Oh, oh. I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna. Okay. No, I, I will die immediately. Oh. Get me on some land and I'll die. This is, this this is some attention. weird gameplay right I didn't here. pay attention to the password it is. code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. I yeah, thought yeah, it was yeah, gonna yeah. take us yeah, all the way to the beginning. And I was just like, oh man. But, alright. No, now I'm not nervous. All right. I could, yeah. Alright, Aaron. Alright, this really sucks. What? I didn't even walk <laughs> off of it! I didn't even- I'm, I should be able to stand on the edge of this island. Look. <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped! <laughs> I'm not even- look, I'm just standing. <laughs> look, just jump. standing. What kind of bullshit? <laughs> this is some bullshittery. <laughs> look, look, look. This is such a weird angle. All right, you gotta do it. I don't have time for this. <laughs> so that's such a weird angle. It's not top down. It's not side. And it's not isometric. And I mean, this isn't really that old. I mean, I guess it's been a long time. Mm, but 2004? You know, there were some good games. Oh, it's a out. dead end. Oh, wait, no. I know. Definitely, Crash Bandicoot? Definitely some good Mario games. Mario 64 even existed? Even more than that. Like, I mean, I'm not even thinking like... 2004. KOTOR was. had to have been coming out. Oh, yeah, KOTOR was out. Around around this time. Because I, I, was, I was about the same age when this movie came out. Yeah, I think GameCube was... You thing. know, like some good, awesome games. What is this? This is Elf, the movie. The game. <laughs> Alright, but don't let the animals touch you. That was the warning it gave us, so... I oh, never these are gonna be stinky ones. Me. Ooh. Okay, that there's a, a checkpoint, though. Oh! How did I miss? Alright, so, Cat, okay. is this the... Is this a good game or the best game? What? It's not either. <laughs> a good game or the best game? I'm still gonna be really pessimistic about Elf. I just, it's just in my nature. I still think that the worst game that we played today was Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. Oh, I didn't play it. Yeah, you yeah guys, I didn't either. You guys missed that one. It was something else. Why was it so bad? It was, you had to control three different uh, characters at the same time, and it was just tedious, tedious stuff. It was top down like this. Hmm. Ah! Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a long ways. Don't touch. Oh, jeez. No. Aaron. Yes. I'm just yelling your name. <laughs> well, thanks to global like, warming, there will be no more ice caps or polar bears. So this game will be a lot easier to beat in about 20 years. Just take a plane. Oh. 
No. Just take a plane, that's what I'm saying. Flying no, LaGuardia. Things are causing greenhouse gases. Well, I mean, if there's no ice shelf going to New York. <laughs> You're going to have to take a plane. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or hop on Santa's sleigh. It's not even going to be in New York. <laughs> New York's going to be underwater. Uh. You think Santa's sleigh contributes to global warming? No, that's pretty green, right? Yeah, yeah so well, he the travels... reindeer probably have a lot of methane gas, but yeah. it's probably, you know, it's still better. <laughs> I think he travels through a space-time continuum. He, like, shares a hole in space. I think I'll... the the best one that I heard, the best explanation that I heard, is it's kind of, Santa's kind of like quantum mechanics, in where if he's not observed, he can be anywhere at once. So, like, so Jesus. If, if nobody watches him, Spirit if nobody him. sees him, then he's technically everywhere. That's why he comes at night. Mm. Yeah, Santa. Yeah. No. You don't sound like you're buying it. Well, you're with two people who have never believed in Santa. Never. Our parents never <laughs> taught us. <about> <laughs> so we're gonna. Oh, be you skeptics. didn't. Yeah, you never believed in Santa. Be we believe in Santa as much as we believe in this Will Ferrell being an elf. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let me just state for the record that I also don't believe. <laughs> 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 I just thought it, w it was a fun theory. <laughs> okay, this is... We're at time, and I have, like, one hit left. So let's see how far I can get. Oh! oh! Okay. Right Alright, guys, well, that was Elf, the movie, the game. Uh, come back next episode. We'll be playing something else. Something better? Nope. <laughs>